Hey you guys, Charlie here. Happy Saturday. Hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So we're going to be taking a look at the SEC filings overview and status part two. And in this video, we're going to be going over the OCC or the Options Clearing Corporation and the ICC or ICE Clear Credit LLC. Let's go ahead and get started. So what is the Options Clearing Corporation? Well, they're a United States clearinghouse based in Chicago. They specialize in equity derivatives clearing, providing central counterparty clearing and settlement services to 16 exchanges. Now, a central counterparty acts as a counterparty to both sellers and buyers collecting money from each, which allows it to guarantee the terms of a trade. The OCC also refers central counterparty clearing and settlement services for securities lending transactions. Now, We've had two major filings come out from the OCC. The first one being an advance notice, OCC 801, as well as OCC 003, both of which relate to the proposed rule change to establish OCC's persistent minimum skin in the game. Now what that means is they're pretty much requiring the OCC to keep a larger capital requirement on hand so that when the defaults begin, and they will, they have a cushion before taking deposits from non-defaulting members. Now the status of this filing, of course we had the advanced filing, no objection as of April 7th. And we are waiting on 003, that is a typo, sorry about that, it's supposed to be 003 filing. May 31st is the latest date to determine whether to approve or disapprove that filing. At which point, once that is approved, we should have all OCC filings ready to go. There's also OCC 2021-004. Proposed rule change relating to revisions to OCC's auction participation requirements. Now what that means is they're in, in essence allowing more members and non-members to participate in the auctioning off of a defaulting member's portfolio when that time comes. That was filed March 31st and it was approved May 19th. Now let's talk about ICE Clear Credit or the ICC. Now, similarly, they operate as a central counterparty and clearinghouse for credit default swaps, transactions conducted by its participants. ICE Clear Credit LLC is a subsidiary of the Intercontinental Exchange, ICE, who operates the NYSE group where the NASDAQ could be found. And in order to address counterparty risk, members must provide collateral to ICE Clear Credit. And they have a vast list of members, very big name members, two of which are going to be JP Morgan and Bank of America. Now, as far as filings for the ICC, we had one called ICC 2021-005, proposed rule change relating to the ICC recovery plan and the ICC wind down plan. Also had very, very similar uh, filings with part one video. Every single en entity had this same filing. They're all winding down. They're all planning to recover. Summary of this goes over the steps and processes for ICE in the event of a major stress scenario. Unwinds risk and allows for recovery of defaulted members. Liquidating portfolios and auctioning portfolios are some methods they have to use in the event of a stress scenario. Status of this one was filed March 30th and approved May 11th. We also have SR ICC 2021-007. A proposed rule change relating to the ICC's treasury operations, policies, and procedures. And the purpose of this is to enhance the accuracy of ICC's collateral asset haircuts and help ICC to ensure that, even in stressed marking conditions, it will continue to collect sufficient collateral from its clearing participants and that such collateral could be liquidated in a timely manner. That was filed April 7th, approved May 13th. So everything from the ICC thus far that is important and related to our potential hopeful outcome has been approved. Yesterday, Seth Gensler made a statement yesterday that he will aggressively be enforcing rules against bad actors. Now, why a lot of you don't seem to see the point of all these filings, there is a method to the madness. We have all the major entities formulating plans for a massive event for a stress scenario, for liquidations, for haircuts. You can find all of this language throughout all of the filings. Something's going on. And the best part about it is even if, let's say, these filings just completely go to hell and none of them works out how the way we want, the good news is, is our plan doesn't change. We hold 
and we wait. This could just be an added bonus that we have the SEC on our side. I'm not going to believe that until I see it, but judging by all of these rule changes that are coming to fruition very, very quickly at a rapid pace, it seems like they're trying to get this done quickly. And we all know why. So I hope this uh, video helped you guys as far as looking at the other side of the coin, as far as the filings. If you have any questions, of course, leave a comment down below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.